In hand number one, we are in early position with King Queen off. Our open raise to seven quid. We get one caller from the big blind. So we go heads up. Flop comes Jack 10 King with two spades. A very connected board, but one that does connect with our hand itself. So when villain checks to us, we see bet for 10 pound and villain calls. The turn is the four of spades. Villain checks to us again, the four shouldn't change much and I have a decent spade blocker so I think it's less probable he has turned the flush, I bet 15. Villain only has about 62 behind and he puts that all in. I think for a few seconds and make the call. The river is the queen of clubs, now we lose to any ace. So we turn over and Villain mucks and we're off to a good start to the session. But following that good start, we run dead, lose some blinds, miss some flops, and just lost a bomb pot. Putting our stack down below break even at £331. But things look good again as we pick up the Cowboys in the big blind with the double straddle on. More so when the cutoff raises to 35, folds to us in the big blind. I'm certainly raising here and decide to only min click to £72 in an attempt to go heads up with our opponent in the cutoff who is a watcher of the vlog. But he thinks for a while and eventually and unfortunately makes what I think is a very disciplined and probably exploitative fold here being that my raise was only a min click in a double straddle pot but what can you do well played it was the right decision after all in the hijack now with king queen suited the straddle is on there is one limper and i raise 235 when it comes to me only the button cold calls now so two ways our position to a flop of ace jack six rainbow with no hearts i check now and hoping to see a free turn which we do as villain checks back the turn is the five of diamonds doesn't do us any favors however i decide to take a stab at it trying to represent an ace with a delayed c bet on a dry board however villain is having none of it as he goes all in with his remaining 77 pounds we just give up and fold our bluff. Do you think the stab here was credible at all? Let me know what you think and uh, we move. Okay, now the ladies in the cutoff hoping for some action before it reaches us, but it folds to me and I open it up now to six. Button makes the call and we go heads up with a reg I've played with quite a few times and I know he isn't the type to shy away from making a bluff. Flop comes, three, jack, queen, rainbow. What a dream. I check because we probably only get calls from jacks or pocket pairs. Button bets out 10. I call. Turn is another jack. So upgraded to a boat now. Now I check to keep his bluffs in. He checks back unfortunately. And the river is the eight of hearts. Of course, I'm going for value now. But don't want to bet too big that I leave out his bluffs and want to get raised by any jack holdings so i bet 25 and villain does make a raise to 50 i now for some reason get carried away here and hope a better pot to 275 hmm yeah he snap folds not too sure what i was trying to get value from other than other four houses but ultimately i should be targeting jack holdings there i think and don't even think they would be calling that bet size but yeah we move okay on to pocket sevens in the small blind under the gun raised it to seven we make the call and go two ways flop comes four nine seven with two clubs set mine boom i check to disguise and under the gun c bets six pounds which i just call turn brings in the jack of diamonds now 10 8 is a straight but not something i'm worried about we continue to downplay our strength with a check and villain bets out 15 hoping his hand has strengthened ideally with a holding such as ace jack we raise 250 villain takes 20 seconds before making a call and the river comes a not so great card it's the ten of clubs bringing in all sorts of draws and downgrading our set now we could go for thin value here but i decided to check villain checks back we show and he mucks 
so we drag in a nice one here okay now ace jack suited on the button i opened action with a seven pound bet folds all the way to the big blind who's the same opponent as in the previous hand he throws in a 25 pound chip with intention of free betting but gets told the rules that throwing in a single chip is always a call and the flop comes jack three four with two spades big blind checks pretty confident we are ahead so i bet for value five pound and the big blind calls the turn is the ten of hearts villain checks again i decide to slow down and check back hoping to induce a bluff on the river if it is low but the river is the queen of hearts now no longer top pair and the big blind leads for 15 i wish i didn't slow play the turn but i justify a cycle as the pot is small villain turns over ace king for rivered straight nice hand nice hand <laughs> Picking up Ace King ourselves now in the low jack, folds round to us and I raise to six pound. Folds to the small blind, who's the same player as in the previous two hands. He free bets to 26. I could four bet here, but I elect to call and we go in position once again with the same opponent heads up to a flop of queen, nine, ace with two spades small blind now c bets 15. i think this is a pretty mandatory c bet from him free betting out of the small blind pre-flop but i just call once again to keep his bluffs in it turn comes a four of diamonds interestingly he now bets three quarters pot for 60 pounds he has about 150 pound behind Something told me he is more likely to be semi bluffing with this sizing and not have two pair or a set here. So for that reason, I just min click him and raise to 120, giving him the pods to call if he is bluffing and he does find the call. The river comes, the 10 of hearts. He now goes all in, now bringing in the straight draw, but I think I have to call with these odds. And I do, villain ends up turning over five four of spades for a flush draw with some extra outs. Maybe I got lucky with my read there, but nevertheless, a nice pot going our way, sending us above break even in the session. Next up, ace five of spades in the big. Under the gun raises to seven pounds plus one calls. Being last to act as it folds to me, I think this is a good spot to three bet squeeze semi bluff here with ace five. So I bet 22 pounds, we get called by plus one and go two ways flop comes five seven king rainbow i don't see much of a reason to bet bottom pair here on a dry board so i check villain checks back turn is the beautiful ace of diamonds hitting our hand and our range so i now bet 15 villain calls and we're gonna see a river which is another beautiful ace upgrading us to a house I bet 25, a size that I think would get value from a king, but also get raised by an ace x holding that we beat. But a villain just elects to call, we show villain mux, and of course we take this one down. In this next one, we look down at ace nine suited in the small blind. New young player with a short stack in plus one raises to seven pounds. Another new young player with a short stack in low jack calls. I think there's merit for squeezing, but we are suited, so I just call. Flop comes a dream. 899 rainbow. I check, plus one bets 10. Low jack folds, and I just make the call. Two ways, and the turn is another eight. Let's go. Another full house. How do we extract the most value here? I think I'm disguised and villain's range is quite strong. So I go with another check. Villain bets out 15 and now I raise to 40. Plus one calls. So we're going to see a river which comes the four of clubs as clean as it gets. And now villain has about 85 behind. What do I do? I bet 75. 
don't ask me why I leave £10 of his stack on the table, but Villain does tank for a little bit and eventually flicks in the call. So we drag in a nice one here as we show and of course he mucks as we pretty much hold the nuts on this board. Next up, we pick up the best of the best. We have aces in the plus one. I raise to seven, small blind now three bets to 12. Big blind calls, I four bet to 37. But in retrospect, I think I should have gone higher here. The fact there is a third player means my hand strength is slightly disguised as I would squeeze here with worse hands such as pocket pairs like tens that need more protection anyway small blind ends up calling and the big blind folds after tanking so we go two ways flop comes four three eight rainbow a reassuring dry low flop for the aces preserving my equity i see bet for 25 and the small blind calls and now the turn is the nine of clubs doesn't pose any danger i bet again 50 now and and eventually and unfortunately, this small blind makes the fold onto the next one. Okay, in the plus one now with ace five of spades. Once again, under the gun, there sits a recreational older gentleman who limps. I now raise to 10 pound and it folds all the way to the big blind who calls and the under the gun comes along as well. So we go three ways, flop comes 10, three, ace, rainbow. We hit top pair and it checks to me i see bet for 15 only the older gentleman calls and the turn is the four of spades interestingly now the under the gun older gentleman leads for 25 pound this seems strong from him but also quite random as any two pair would surely check call or at least I would on such a dry board anyway i do make the call and now the river is the king of diamonds villain now bets 63 i'm thinking this villain is the type to play out of line sometimes and could easily have a hold in like four three for two pair limping pre-flop and i thought either he is bluffing or i'm completely crushed here and he might have correctly put me on an ace x hand with me raising from early position pre-flops so i eventually give him the benefit of the doubt and i talk myself into a fold opponent then shows the bluff for the vlog for with it two of clubs four of clubs nice nice good bluff board was dry so when he led the turn i assumed he was very strong but we keep it moving moving past midnight now we loosen up as it folds to us in the low jack with five seven of diamonds hijack calls cutoff calls and small blind calls mean we go four ways to a flop of nine nine king with two diamonds gets checked to me i see no reason to bet multi-way and just check and hope to see a free turn which we do as it gets checked round turn comes a queen of diamonds small blind checks i now bet eight for protection and value and now the hijack calls but the cutoff raises to 32 which is a little alarming the cutoff is representing a very strong hand here but full houses such as kings and queens are free betting free so we only lose two higher flushes or queen nine i think so i call and even the hijack calls two so we are three ways to a river which comes a seven of spades pretty irrelevant i check hijack check and the cut off check so i show first thinking i'm good but then the cut off shows jack four of diamonds for a higher flush nice hand nice hand in this next hand we pick up ace queen off in the big blind under the gun on our immediate left goes all in for 24 pound plus one calls folds back round to us i call but i think there could be definitely merit too raising as plus ones calling range will likely be capped flop comes 10 jack three with two spades i check under the gun now bets 10 it's a small bet we have a gut shot two overs so i think there are pods to call the turn is to 10 of spades now bringing in the flush draw i check villain checks now the river is the two of spades i decide to gamble and bet a small 15 pound hoping to take villain off a pair but plus one calls and shows 10 7 of diamonds for trips never going to move him off that hand with a bet of 15 pound probably should either be betting more there or not at all in that spot we now pick up a playboy hand in ace king suited i'm um, in the plus one and make a standard open to eight we get calls from the cutoff 
and the big blind. So we go three ways, flop comes 10, three, nine with two clubs. A pretty marvelous flop for us. We have the nuts flush draw and two overs. So C bet two, 15 pound, which only the cutoff calls. Two ways now, turn comes a beautiful four of clubs. So now we hold the nuts. Opponent has about 100 behind. He's the same opponent that we got max value from with the full house earlier in the session. We hope to do the same again as he has a hundred pound behind so i think i need to continue barreling if i want to get it all in on the river so i make a 25 pound bet targeting 10x 10 9 anything he calls river is the five of hearts he's 75 effective i go all in as planned he thinks for a bit and unfortunately makes the fold opponent ends up showing he folded kings in hindsight probably could have got value from checking here but we move. Moving on to the penultimate hand of the vlog, we find ourselves in the big blind with six four of spades. The under the gun straddle is on. I just called it straddle and under the gun, however, raises to 15 and I make the call. Flop comes six, jack five with two hearts and one spade. I check under the gun C bets for 15. We hit middle pair and have a back door, so I make a call and the turn is the four of diamonds what a little turn that is now upgraded to a very disguised two pair especially as i think villain perceives us to be quite tight so i check and undergun blasts off 35 i now raise for value to 75 and villain makes a quick confident looking call which is a bit concerning and the river is the nine of spades i check but think there is merit for making a Thin value bet to target perhaps Queens plus, but villain checks back. I'm not sure what he had, and I announced two pair and show. And villain is surprised as he puts his hand in the map. Now for the final hand, we've been playing for around eight hours. It's past 2 a.m. and the tiredness has settled in, but we don't slow down when we pick up ace jack off in the cutoff. Hijack open for seven quid. We free bet for 17 at the bottom of our range here. Small blind cold calls, and we go three ways. Flop comes amazingly when we see ace five jack with two spades. Hijack checks, I'm in love with my hand and the board hits my range so I just bet out 25. We get a call from the small blind who had been playing quite loosely so we are happy to see that. And the turn is the five of clubs. Pairing the board, hijack checks. I bet out 75 now targeting any other worse ace x hand that he could be cold calling without the small blind pre. However, now small blind three bets to 200, putting my mind in a blender. I couldn't make any sense of what he is likely to hold here. I blocked any slow played aces or jacks. Should he be calling the flop with a five? I don't think so. In the end, turn raises like this are usually knighted, but I think he could be bluffing with perhaps a flush draw. And I am tanking for a very long time. Eventually, villain calls the clock, but being invested financially, it Emotionally, I make the call and we're gonna see a river which is the seven of spades small blind goes all in for prox 215 we don't like the spade on the river of course and at this point I finally find the discipline to make a fold what should have been folded on the turn I eventually get him to turn over his cards and the villain to my surprise shows queen five suited for turned trips at that point I instantly recalled the hand where the same opponent called my low jack raise in the cutoff with with jack four suited a few hands back so I guess the main takeaways from this number one to make a greater effort at remembering the tendencies of your opponents especially Especially at these lower stakes number two don't play when you're tired know when to quit set a time when to stop playing and number three avoid falling in love with your hand on the flop like i did unless you have the nuts but there we have it guys after that we realize we've got to call it a night and we wrap it up for poker vlog seven he raised i didn't believe it i couldn't believe it so had to call simply put you know raises on the turn like that are usually very nutted and i think that's why i should have folded we still managed to cash out a winning session in the end so it's not all bad news yeah let's uh let's improve constructive criticism feedback etc it's all encouraged down in the comments down below so do leave it I appreciate the support guys if you enjoyed this vlog do leave a like and subscribe it will be much appreciated thanks for watching guys peace out